Alright, what's up everybody? We got a rare Hebo game here. A rare Hebo. Um, I do not like playing Hebo much. I, you know, I'm not great with him. He's fun. Like, he's real funny. He knocks people up, splish splashes them, and, you know, he, he does all that cool shit. But I'm just not very good at him, so. Oh, man. What's up, Caleb? How you doing, man? I'm looking for some feedback on what I can do to improve the channel. Is it alright if I just post a link to it? Yeah, yeah, it's just fine, man. Uh, people in chat, feel free to give Caleb uh, some feedback on uh, the videos that he's been posting. If you have any time. I'm sorry that I don't right now, Caleb. That's so funny, Isolated. Thank you for the donation, man. Yeah, this is a YouTube game. How is everybody doing? We got the he Wa versus uh, Soar's Ho Yi. I don't know this guy Soar that well, I don't think. He might be an alt of somebody, because it was like an insta queue. Man, I'm nice, I just don't know him, you know? Oh, that's okay, I say. No worries, man. I know, everybody has this habit of saying shit like that, and, you know. Bum, 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 bum. So, this will be an interesting matchup, though, because, I mean... Did that hit? That hit. Good. Generally, ADCs can get the better of Hebo. Um, but lately, Hebo's been showing some, you know, some of his stuff. Uh, in the higher level games, you've seen more Hebo beating uh, top tier hunters uh, by building double defense and going hand. So, I don't know. It, it could be, uh, you know, could be doable. I would love to see it. Because it would stop hunters from being OP, but I would hate to see it because I fucking hate Hebo. So, yeah. Just a whole lot of factors. Please don't hit me. Oh, I ran into it. God damn it. Out of here. Get out of here. Is he. Alright, nah, nah. <laughs> Say you crazy, son, but wow, why do these things keep. I think he's you know, he's just like aligning it with the with the wave to try to you know poke the wave, uh, or you know get the full clear off on the wave, and I just keep happening to put myself in the in the range of the third shot that he's not even really trying to hit me with. So yeah, I mean double defense, uh, Hebo. The main thing that he has to deal with late game that uh, that he really can't seem to overcome is their DPS uh, with full attack speed, um, or not full attack speed, but you know um, with insane attack speed with like steroids and stuff uh like even artemis i would say gives him an insanely hard time late game because of uh you know the attack speed steroid hoagie does not have an attack speed steroid what he does have though is penetration that more than makes up for not having one but who knows maybe just the sheer fact of him not having that overwhelming attack speed might you know might give us something we'll have to see I'm going to start out Pem Boots like I usually do. A lot of people like to start cooldown boots on Hebo, though. It's kind of just a preference thing. Um, cooldown boots in the end game are definitely going to give you more. And maybe even in the later mid game, it's going to give you more. But that's why I like to go to Pen Boots now and then sell it for the uh, for the cooldown. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's mostly a preference thing. But always end with the cooldown boots, you know. Whether you're going to sell or what. Or start it. Make sure that you go cooldown boost in the end game because that is the most uh, powerful form of, uh, you know, uh, of the boots that you can have for late. Oh, I'm surprised he wanted to go up like that. Oh wow, I suck. Keeping him zoned pretty efficiently here. He doesn't have a pot, so we want to get a lot more pressure going than uh, than he does, obviously, in order to really make use of that pot. But yeah, you can kind of tell I don't play Hebo that much. I'm missing, like, quite a little bit, but not an overwhelming amount that's really, you know, kept me out here. I have a decent lead as well. Kind of, you know, the lead I should have with this pot. My blue is still up. He's going to take in both of these. I think his blue is up as well, but I didn't really want to make the play for it now because he can probably come back in time and kill me. A lot of times you don't want to invade another player when they're still alive out of like respect for the fact that this player most likely knows where we're going. If he sees me go up this way and he knows my purple's down um, and he's like a top level player, on his way back from the base, he can say, okay, I know where this guy's at. He's at my uh, at my blue buff. Let's fuck him up, you know? So you're kind of relying on uh, them not knowing that you're there. 
by by invading that off of their back and not when you know and when he's not dead. Oh, that's gonna be tough. Yes, perfect. Okay, so we made it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I did not need to do that. Um, but I really wanted to come through that that wave there. I just I was not going to be happy if I didn't come through it. Uh, so there we go. I think I need Thoth here, but the breastplate's going to be super super strong for uh, you know uh, allowing me to keep this uh, early game relevance that I have. I uh, mean, uh, take some of this poke without taking uh, uh, you know too much damage overall. Also allow me to maybe dive a little bit. Maybe style a little bit. Who knows? We got him in a good spot for us here. Real good spot. Yeah, he's dead. Nice. Okay, so yeah, exactly as I was saying, um, Thoth here would have been more efficient for the late game uh, and to get my stacks going, but sometimes you gotta realize what your strengths are uh, and capitalize on them. You know, I know that Hilo is insanely strong in this early to mid game against Hunters, and I wanna maximize that, so I went straight into the Breastplate, got the full cooldown plus the Pen Boots damage, um, and we utilized that to secure that first blood. If we had a Thoth there, we wouldn't have had any defense yet, and we would not have uh, been able to, uh, to make that dive as successfully, uh, obviously. So it worked out for sure, and um, we're gonna take that lead and now start building into the Thoth. And basically what we're going to do here is rely on the uh, the power of the Thoth to, uh, the power of the Thoth and, um, you know, Hebo's natural burst uh, to go a lot of defense here and still, you know, still be uh, extremely bursty late game because we need double defense here in order to really fight back uh, when that late game uh, power of the ADC comes online. I figured this is a good position to, uh, to get that ult off in. It looked like pretty guaranteed. A lot of damage coming in here. We want to try to get one more one off, but I'm not going to be able to. That's okay. He cleared the full wave, unfortunately. Yo, $25 from Lifeless. Thank you so much, man. I want one from each tier, starting with the CTS. Ah, okay. Any one of your choice, but Hell I yeah. want them recorded for YouTube. Oh, if you can. shit, my man. So okay. You can show people why the tier list is on point, carrot. Ah, carrot. thank you very much, dude. I appreciate it. Okay, that's cool. Um, definitely, man. Definitely. Um, this new updated tier list, uh, it might already be out for you guys. I'm not sure when this video will be released, but it is coming out tomorrow officially as of, you know, uh, for everybody in the stream right now to know. Uh, so that'll be out tomorrow and, um, very excited about that. It was supposed to be out today. I do apologize. Um, it has like one flaw in it that I wanted to fix and no, it won't answer me. So I didn't want to, you know, put it out there with the error in it. So. Getting a shit ton of pressure on here, but oh shit! Without this kill, though, it's not going to amount to too much. I want him to like, you know, get greedy here. Oh, he really fucked me, they dude. I was really sure that I would be able to juke that out because, especially with the movement speed from my um, uh, from my carpet. But he shot where I was going to be, not where I was, and you know, got me. So good shit, very good shit. Unfortunate. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, he's so formidable at all stages of the game, man. Just, you know, that added damage with the mark plus the stun on his one and the raw damage that it provides is just so strong. He's so versatile to you with the jump and, um, you know, his ultimate for zoning purposes and shit like that. Very, very strong. Yeah, I mean, this basically will be like a dirty bubble esque build. He might have gotten that red too. I think he did. That's shitty. Ah, my hebo, my hebo, man. Damn, he's starting to go in. He's starting to go in. I'm trying to get out. Oh my god! So the other red buffs up now. 
And I zoned myself off of it like a dumbass. Ripperonis. So I think one thing that we definitely did incorrectly here was we pressured like tower and you know got too aggressive against him instead of trying to control the buff. So he ends up winning the experience fight here. Uh, and you know I have tower pressure, but like what is tower pressure in Joust really? It's it's pretty minimal. Um, and it was it was quite a misplay. Without the power of the Thoth here, now that he has some defense coming online, um, you know, about without the fully stacked Thoth, I'm gonna be hurting a little bit here, so I gotta try to catch up. It's gonna be good damage. Oh, it's not a kill. Oh, no way, dude. I wanted to turn to use my one. Oh, sucky day. Sucky day. Damn. Yeah, my hero, man. Fuck. I said it was a little bit better with him. I'm sorry, you guys. Fuck, man. I tried to go for the big, you know, the big D play there. Uh, and turn around and one, but the jump actually killed me. Uh, with Along with, you know, a shit ton of tower, uh, tower shots. Uh, I mean, it's not over yet. What's up, Darthka? Uh, so we'll have to see. I just don't. I don't want this game to get too late, so that's why. That's why I'm forcing, you know, uh, forcing it so much here. Try to get early kills. But I don't. You know, I think I in. You know, I think I ironically I did the exact opposite and ended my game here way too early because. We've given him quite a lead, uh, but I mean, it's mostly just an experience lead, and he doesn't seem to be following it up that well because he's still only uh, level 15. Maybe he'll get 16 on this next buff, but and he's only what 100 gold ahead. But he didn't start a pot, so he's really like 600 gold out of it. Fatalis, man, is making it so hard for, for me to actually hit. This is where it, you know, the true Hebos will be able to play this well against the Fatalis, and I will not because I am not used to this god very much. One thing he's definitely not doing is uh, using his uh, mark enough, though. Like, he can be confirming so much more damage on me when he knows that he's going to be able to land a string of autos by using the mark first, and he's just, like, not. Oh wow! Again, man, are you kidding me? This oh, fuck, man. It just keeps coming down to so close yet so far, and uh, goddamn, goddamn. Mm -mm -mm. But I owed you guys a Hebo game, so I wanted to do it despite the crappiness of my Hebo. I apologize, but he, yeah, not one of my. Uh, you know, more played gods, because I just, I don't know why, I've never really enjoyed Hebo. He's all, you know, he, he just feels so Ming Li when you lose to him, that like, I don't enjoy playing him that much. No, never too late to use your sub requests. I have to donate to see, how much you have to donate to see an Achilles for your Anubis? Alright, I don't know, man. I have to talk about that. Sounds pretty auto loss. Because what the fuck is the Achilles Spear going to do for me on a new base? Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck man, I'm dead. I am confirmed dead. Dead as fuck. Uh, and he, uh, and the player, you know, the character directed taunt to fuck. I didn't even know how he had a taunt on Hebo. Why would he? They're on the same pantheon? Yes. So we're trying with double defense here to catch up and see what we can do, but, you know, I won't give up. Uh, I know I don't have the best Hebo, but maybe we can Ming Li our way to victory. You know, big, big AoE abilities and double defense, maybe. We'll see, we'll see. How could the Achilles Spear even slightly, <laughs> slightly help me on Anubis unless I was going attack speed Anubis? I think he went and took this as well. Hey, what's up, Extreme? How you doing, man? Mm, 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 mm. 
Never will Hebo feel less OP when he, than when he's in the hands of me, dude, because just something doesn't click. Something doesn't click. It's like, I don't know, the positioning of the god, you kind of have to be very, uh, very aware of how much burst you have versus how much burst they have, and I guess I don't, you know, I'm not that aware of, of Hebo's potential burst, uh, and especially not when I'm behind with him. Like, I'm expecting to do huge numbers, and I'm really not. So that's, you know, that's a problem. This ADC build is so cheap, dude, like... He's gonna be done with it, like right after his back, I think. And he's not even up that much. He's up a lot, but fuck. Their builds are so cheap in general. He went double defense, which, you know, is the build right now. It's the build to go. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, nice. Alright, so we should live to uh, fight once more. Why? What did you crit it? You motherfucker! What did you? What? You what? Son? What in the? What the fuck? Ho oh, ye, man! Ho oh, ye! I don't even know if he hit that with his one or not. That's just disgusting. All right, yo, I'm doing it, you guys. This is it. Double pen. Double pen. Hebo. Hubwa. Hubweezy. We gotta see. I mean, the magic of double pen will bring us back. Clearly, it has to. If it doesn't, we have no hope. Look at that, it's doing things. Oh shit, he just channeled it? He didn't even use it? Motherfucker. <laughs> Ming Lee! Ming Lee, bitch! Let's go! Okay, so. Alright, we got him. He got a little hot-headed. He, he went for the big play, and I said, nah, son. I re know reasonably well how to use this god. Let's go. I might not be good at hitting his abilities, but I know that in position like that, I can do some shit. Just continuously knocked him up, and got him. Got him! Uh, it's not by any means uh, the comeback that we need, but it's a comeback that, you know... Uh, or, you know, it's not the full comeback, but it's something. It'll definitely do something for us. <gasps> He's coming, run! Fuck, are we dead? <sighs> How do you know I was there, man? He saw me at the mid wave. I'm sure. Fuck. Okay, good, good. Look at that. He's not. Double def double pen, man. It's gonna happen. The double pen dream. He's gonna be swinging at my Phoenix right now. Bum, bum, ba -da -bum, bum, ba -da -bum. Yeah, I gotta trade for the CDR boots now, for sure. Just a little awkward when you're trying to finish your full build and you don't, you know. One thing Hebo's very good at, Ming Liying, hugging Phoenix and, you know, assuring that uh, your opponent can't take it. Because he's got the knockup, he's got, you know, quite some tools to, uh, to deter people. Ouch! Ouch! <sighs> Fuck. Alright, we gotta get out of here. We gotta fucking heal, but I don't know if we can. What if I get blank? I gotta get blank. Oops. <laughs> what? what happened? I here's the thing. I fat fingered my shield, so I was like, you know what? Might as well use all my actives now. Alright, let's fuck it, man. Fuck it. Yo, what's up, bad koala? How you doing man? Alright, we're sneaking this. We're getting it. We gotta. Alright, let's go. Fuck. He's gonna end up over here and he's gonna Oh man. There we go, there we go. Oh for the escape. True Hebo. Look at the damage. He does not want to mess. He just doesn't. 
cooldown boots. Alright, there we go. We live. We live. Alright, so power pot. Uh, gonna be picked up here. The blue build, man. The blue build is OP. See this? All blue? OP. Except for the Nemean, you know. He went meditation. I don't know. If, I think that's going to be a major misplay for him. He went shield of the underworld, so that's good. But I think he wants sprint with that shield of the underworld. The meditation is kind of just like a, you know, look at me. I'm a big dick. Uh, <laughs> or I got a big dick. Not I'm a big dick, but, you know. Uh, so, I don't know. Might be too much of a flex there from him. Oh, but somehow I didn't hit that. I don't know. So Jarvis, god damn, man. All right, so my Hebo clearly did not have the stuff, but I think the double pen helped a shit ton. We were just so far behind, and we couldn't hit a majority of our abilities, but it kind of came close there until we used the meditation. Meditation, like I said, would kind of just be like a flex. It, it, it more or less was there, because <laughs> he was already alive, too. So.